Healthcare for older adults is multidimensional, it's interdisciplinary, and it occurs across a continuum of care. Physical therapists are an essential member of the healthcare team, and on that healthcare team, they serve as the movement experts. As a physical therapist, I could work with you, develop an individualized program where we can look at your strength, balance, how you walk, we'll look at your feet, we'll screen your vision, we'll discuss with your other healthcare providers the influence of medications you might be taking, okay? as well as potentially look at the environment in which you live to sort of minimize those uh, modifiable risk factors. So we're training our physical therapists to screen, assess, and intervene specifically related to fall risk uh, using the evidence that's available to us. And STEADY and the STEADY initiative brings that evidence together in a easy to use format that allows us to align with other healthcare uh, providers. One of the, uh, I think, effective ways we're doing this is through interprofessional education. So if we want a team to work together, we need to train them together as a team. We trained physical therapy students, pharmacy students, nursing students, public health students, and physician assistant students in the STEADY initiative using the tools and resources available. And then we gave them the opportunity to apply that in a community-based fall risk screening where we had uh, older adults in our local community come in and in interprofessional teams, our students were able to apply the STEADY initiative. So it allows them to identify their roles and responsibilities of different members of the team and see the expertise when it comes to fall prevention that each member of the team can provide. It was a really successful activity the first thing I'd recommend if you wanted to use fall prevention as an interprofessional education activity is to get buy-in from all the key discipline stakeholders that are on your campus. Once you've decided that, you have to identify some community partners that are out there to help get this initiative off of the campus and into the community. Once you have that, the second thing is I think CDC, through the STEADY initiative, has really laid out an easy to use set of resources that you can use to train your students. There are training modules that are available to students and educators on the CDC's website. And the last and most important aspect of this is the ability of all the students together as an interprofessional team to apply the STEADY initiative in a community-based fall screening activity. That's where the learning is going to occur. Healthcare for older adults by its nature, it's very multifactorial, it's very complicated, and it involves an interdisciplinary team to be successful.